Hi, I'm Amelia. I'm a transgender woman uh, and I've been in transition. Uh, I started my transition about three years ago and have been living full time for about uh, just a little bit less than a year. It's been the most rewarding and terrifying journey of my life, I think. It's something that I've suppressed for um, all my life and to um, finally come to terms with it is, is pretty monumental to me. Well, it's something for better or worse that I um, have hidden for, like I said, almost 30 years. Um, I think I knew when I was five or six years old. Um, I learned pretty quickly or was taught pretty quickly that that's something that um, I should be ashamed of and it's something that I should repress. And um, I, uh, it's what I did through my whole teenage years. I just reached a point right around the time I turned 30 where I I said I have to I can't keep doing this I'm I'm too tired I, I was out of energy and I said I, I have two choices in my life now I have to be honest and open and start talking and accepting who I am or I have to make good on what I tried to do when I was 17 and in my life Transitioning for me has not been easy and it hasn't been a piece of cake and it's certainly been a struggle. But I'm extremely privileged. Um, I'm privileged to um, be able to have a good job, that I work in a really supportive, really open, welcoming environment, um, that I have an amazing group of friends and um, family around me to be able to support me. There's something unique about um, getting to talk to students. Um, and just how much, how different their world is than the world I grew up in, um, and how much more open and accepting they seem to be. Um, we talk about concepts or about um, my journey, and there's very little explanation required. There is a lot more to be done. Um, we've made some, especially in Alberta, we've made some huge steps over the past year. Um, with the, the um, LGBTQA school guidelines and of course Bill 7 being passed which includes um, um, specifically includes gender identity and gender expression into the sort of provincial human rights um, those they're huge steps um, but the work that needs to be done to overcome the sort of societal stigma is still substantial I think whether we're 17 or 14 or 30 or trans or cis or gay or straight or anything in between any of those terms, I think we're all just struggling, struggling to find ourselves and we're struggling to find our place in the world. And that takes a lifetime of learning and it is not an easy process for anyone. Um, and it's painful and it's difficult and we make mistakes and that's all to be expected. I certainly feel like my life is moving forwards and I feel like there's um, hope and positivity in my life for the first time. And um, for the most part, a lot of that, those feelings of sort of depression and those sort of suicidal thoughts um, have certainly subsided.